aku kembali. Aku kembali. To install it on on this capture for me, all I did was put a little Velcro inside here. This is where our transmitter goes. I'm going to run the OSD right here, so a little Velcro. On the underside, I put some Velcro as well. This is where the battery for the entire flight system is going to be mounted. And then the camera fits up in this slot. Pretty simple. Um, the transmitter is going to fit in, and the end where the antenna attaches is going to stick out. And then our, my antenna, what I do is I just bring it straight out like this. Uh, horizontal. It's not. I don't know if it's a bad way to do it. It works for me. I don't have any issues, so that's what I do. I know a lot of people want them up or down, but straight out works just fine for me, so that's what I do. Do what you want. For the camera, it matters on how it mounts, and you will need to turn it on and see, but for me, it's the OSD port is down, and I know that that is the correct way for the camera to shoot. She just goes up here and then what I'll do is I just servo tape mine in gives me a little bit of vibe protection and it holds perfectly fine so I just servo tape that dude right in there. I'm gonna run that wire down the side back to the transmitter. I already have pretty much everything attached so comes just like this right just gonna put the OSD and attach it right here a little bit of velcro is all it takes I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the servo connector that has my signal power and ground for the camera and remember that the signal goes to the inside ground to the south side my power is already hooked up. I'm going to route it down and around like so. Tuck that in. That's all she wrote, folks. That's all I do to mount this stuff. It doesn't require a lot. This is the. This goes to the main fly pack, so I just. I'll bring it over this way and then I will solder it down onto the distribution board and that will power the USD so we can read our voltage. This is the Deans that I use to power the transmitter and battery. This battery just goes underneath. I got Velcro under here. So I just set the battery underneath and then what I do is I use one of these handy dandy Velcro strips. These things are invaluable. And I kind of tuck up the battery wire because you don't need all of it. And I cinch that in. And then I just bring the Velcro strip all the way across the transmitter. And that makes sure that it won't fall out even though it's Velcroed in. It's just a little bit of extra protection. These Velcro strips, I'm telling you, these make the world go around for RC. So I Velcro strip it in. That's in, that's good, battery's on, being held well. So all I have to do is solder my two connections to the board, to the power distribution board, and we need to mount the camera. Again, all I use is servo tape. This stuff, and this isn't even good stuff, this is just plain old junk mirror mounting tape. It's not even the heavy duty crap. Make a slice, put it on the bottom. Then, what I do is I also put one on the back side, right about here, and that really helps affirm the attachment. Makes me not worry about it whatsoever. Peel that tape off. Do a little spit cleaning. 
where we're mounting, just in case there's dirt or dust. I know it's probably making some people yell and scream at me, but and I just eye it up, press her down, and press it back. And that's all she wrote, bro. She's in there. Looks good to me. Then on the other side, we gotta deal with some wiring. I know this is gonna probably piss some people off too, but I go right underneath the old receiver wire. Go ahead and make the connection here. Put me a little piece of tape around it so that doesn't jog off. Get it jog off. And hold that nice and tight. <clears throat> and then we just zip tie the shit out of it. Got a little dangle here, but I have a place to zip tie up here. I'll show you why I want to do that. I actually want to zip tie that whole connector down, but I want to have a little slack on this and this so that uh, the vibrations don't, and I don't know that it matters, don't try to break the where the, the wire actually goes into the servo connector. This also doesn't let this jiggle around and maybe break loose. But that little bit of wire hanging doesn't hurt nothing. And I like it. I like a little dangly wire. One more zip tie. And these holes aren't are marked for you. Just uh, go ahead. And, I mean, you might not run your wire like this, but if you do, just drill out with three mil hole, three mil drill bit. And uh, I feel like we're ready to FPV. Other than me soldering those wires on, which I'm not going to bore you with. But I will show you what the antenna looks like. If I can find a... Yes. Put the adapter on it. So that's me, ready to fly. The antenna sticks out here, it's out of the way of the props. Even if it got bent up, it won't hit the prop. Which you could, I mean, you could put a little bend in it if you wanted to and make it do that. I don't, I just make it stick straight out. We are ready to fly. So the next video that I do will probably be a little bit of FPV flying, showing you what uh, this camera looks like. Uh, I should mention, let me mention for this for the people that want to run a GoPro. If you want to run a GoPro and you want to run a flight cam as well, the GoPro is going to mount to the, down on the bottom and you're going to have to flip the way it records so that it records upside down. And you'll be able to run a GoPro down here, fly board here. If you just want to run a GoPro, you want to cut the top stems that come out here 
where this camera sits down. You want to cut this off and this off. And you're going to want to put your post right here and right here. And then the GoPro will sit on that ledge. Okay? That's how that works. If you're like me, you run a straight up and down camera. And then you cut a hole right here. And the straight up and down camera sits here and then shoots above this guy. But I know some people just run a GoPro, so run it here, cut these off, run it on that, or board camera, and then the GoPro sits on the bottom. And then there's there's slots on the plan that you can actually use to strap the GoPro down. Uh, so there you go. Very simple FPV. This is perfect for the first timer, I think. It's what I started with, and it's what I've stuck with because it's easy, no hassle, fun to fly. And it's cheap, so I don't care if I tear stuff up. That's that's the biggest turtle for most people, or at least for me. You know, I'm a poor dude. So if something doesn't cost a lot, I don't care about it. But when stuff starts costing a lot, I care a lot about it, and then I get intimidated, and I don't want to fly it. And if you don't fly, uh, you don't learn, and a fear of crashing will keep you from flying. So get out there, do it cheap. Uh, do it cheap, but do it kind of right. I, I think this is cheap, but okay. Uh, have fun. Alright, so next time I see you, we'll be flying. <laughs>